Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the insane Pokemon Presents that we got this week, where they threw a curveball to the entire community, the entire gaming community, and announced Pokemon Legends Z. A, a spiritual sequel to Pokemon X and Y, the next game in the Pokemon Legends franchise of mainline games, a return to Kalos. It is, it's exciting. It's an exciting time to be a Pokemon fan. Let's jump right into things. I am happy to be wrong because of what we got. If you guys have been following the channel for a while, you will know that I've been pretty heavily predicting that I thought we were going to return to Johto this year. I thought it was pretty obvious. I thought it was the next step. I thought Pokemon sticks to a general timeline of when they return to regions, when they remake games. I thought we had a lot of hints in Legends Arceus and in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Johto references, characters, etc. There were references, of course, as well to the Unova region, characters from Unova getting brought back, topics and different storylines from Unova getting referenced and mentioned. Timeline, you could make an argument that Black and White was next in the remakes, even though Heart Gold and Soul Silver were already there. There were leaks and people in the community claiming that through various sources, they had heard about a Black and White game coming this year, something having to do with Unova. All of that was swirling over the last couple months. Honestly, over the last year, we have been kind of working on, all right, we're getting Scarlet and Violet's DLC, but we're talking about what's next. We're talking about the next big thing. So when Pokemon Presents came this previous week on Pokemon Day, everyone was expecting, okay, we're going to get a mainline game. If we get a mainline game, it's probably going to be Johto or Unova, and I was Johto. Got to the end, and they threw us all for a curveball. They showed us that architectural trailer. Eventually, we learned that it was Lumio City, and they revealed that it is a new Pokemon Legends game, Pokemon Legends Z-A. Pokemon Z is real. The internet has had a, a lot of fun talking about how all of the speculation in 2015 about a Pokemon Z, about a sequel to Pokemon X and Y, all of the rumors about that following Oras are finally real. They can, they're finally going to go back. We're going to get Zygarde lore. We're going to get Kalos lore. It's coming in 2025, so it's not coming this year. There will not be a mainline Pokemon game coming out at Christmas, although some people have, you know, speculated and theorized that maybe there's still a chance that something gets announced later on in the year, possibly a BDSP style remake from from some outside company, something to satiate Pokemon fans this year. That really comes from a prominent uh, video game reporter and leaker on social media a couple days ago who mentioned what I had said before, that last year he had heard that there was something Unova being planned for in 2024. So I'm not going to rule out that there's something else we're missing, though I don't necessarily think it makes a ton of sense for the Pokemon company to announce this big major title coming probably Q1 of 2025, only to get out in front of that and announce another game. It doesn't make a ton of sense. It's possible but I wouldn't say it's likely. So this is the timeline we're looking at. This time next year, we will probably be at or past the release of Pokemon Legends ZA. The trailer did not show any gameplay. We didn't get a look of how the game looks, how it might look similar or different from Legends Arceus or Scarlet and Violet. We don't know yet for sure if it's going to be a Switch only title or if it's also going to come out on the Switch 2, which by all accounts, the entire gaming industry expects it to come out around the same time, probably, as the original Switch came out, which was the beginning of the year in 2017. Originally, the new Switch was rumored to be getting revealed this March by Nintendo, actually, and everyone assumed that it would probably be releasing at the end of this year, so Nintendo could sell their new console with the holiday season. I'm disappointed that we're not getting a new Switch this year. I think the Switch has pretty much run its course. It feels its age at this point. The Switch OLED and iterations that they've come out with do kind of help that a little bit. But for me personally, someone who still owns a launch edition Nintendo Switch, I can feel its age and I think it's time for something new. We'll see if Pokemon Legends ZA comes out on that new console or if Game Freak does what they like to do. They did this with Black and White and Black and White 2. They put out new games on the Nintendo DS, even though the Pokemon franchise was theoretically able to come out on the 3DS by then because the 3DS had come out. So we'll see. 
maybe if the Switch 2 is backwards compatible. The rumors have been that if you put an old Switch title into the Switch 2, it's going to perform better. There's going to be boosts that it gets from the new hardware. So maybe Pokemon Legend ZA falls into that, but we will see. But we're returning to Kalos. We're returning to Pokemon X and Y's world, a region that is incredibly nostalgic for me. It came out in 2013. I was 13 years old at the time. X and Y was the first hype cycle that I was actively following YouTubers and Poketubers for. I was watching all the videos from all the, the popular Pokemon creators at the time covering all the news, the reveal of Mega Evolution, all of the screenshots and trailers we got throughout the year, the Pokemon Directs that we got where they talked about Pokemon Banks reveal, all of the new Megas that they re revealed in every single trailer, the speculation about the infamous glitch in the original trailer where the trainer jumps on the rope in the grass type gym, jumps across a platform, and you can see his um, his glasses get left behind. All of the different memes that came out of that era. We're returning to all of that, and it's it's really exciting for me because it's it's a full circle moment. I got to watch all of my my childhood heroes online cover those games. It was the first game that I really like got into into, and to now get to cover the spiritual successor to those games for you guys is it's an honor. I'm very excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. And we get a whole year of this news, trailers, speculation, leaks. It's going to be an awesome time to be a Pokemon fan. A lot of people have mentioned the fact that it's not coming this year. Is Game Freak slowing down? A lot of people in the community have been asking for a couple years for Game Freak to take some more time with their development. We don't need a brand new Pokemon game every single year. And I agree with that sentiment. I think you should give game developers as much time as they possibly need to make their games. There are market influences and business minded people who a lot of times in this community like to push their developers to cut corners, take less time developing something, make them work incredibly long hours to get a product out. And oftentimes when that happens, you get a rushed buggy, glitchy product that you can very much tell didn't have enough time in the oven. So I agree with those people. I think this game should get all the time that it needs. And it is worth noting that we don't actually know a release window for this game. We know 2025. I think most people are assuming that it's going to be the early part of 2025, whether it's January like Legends Arceus or March, like when the Switch launched with, uh, with Legends of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Perhaps this will be a launch title on the Switch 2. There's a lot to come, but we don't know. It's entirely possible that this game doesn't come out until the end of the year. If that happens, I'd be a little surprised. I tend to think that while it is nice that we're not getting a new Pokemon game this year in terms of letting the devs have their time, I have a sneaking suspicion that this game might have been planned to come out this year and maybe internally got pushed back because the Switch 2 got pushed back. There's nothing we know publicly to support that idea just yet, but I have seen some people mention it, and I do think it tracks. I do think something about the way they announced that it was a simultaneous worldwide release in the trailer. While some people have said perhaps that's a reference to the fact that Pokemon X and Y really pushed that in their announcement because X and Y was the first Pokemon games to be released worldwide. Before Pokemon X and Y, we would have the games come out in Japan, and then four to six months later, we would have the games come out in the rest of the world. Sometimes there were even different release dates for North America and for Europe, separate from Japan. So the game would come out in March in Japan, would come out in September in North America, and would come out in October and November in Europe. That has happened before. So that could be a reference just to that because it was a big, exciting thing at the time, or it could have something to do with the fact that by the time Legend ZA releases, by the time we're returning to the Kalos region, there's going to be more than one Switch console to choose from. We will see. Time will tell. It'll be interesting to find out when we get the release date for Pokemon Legend ZA. And there's so much to speculate about with this game. Megas are returning. We're probably going to get new Megas. Legends games like Legends Arceus gave us brand new starters, older starter Pokemon brought into a new region. We're probably going to see that too, although I do think there's a world where maybe they give us the Kalos starters and the twist with them is we get Mega Evolutions for them. 
I would like to see that, but we could see a brand new trio of old starters. Who are they going to be? When are we actually going to get that reveal? When are we going to get going here? We have the announcement and now it's we're into the hype cycle. Generally, Pokemon likes to wait a couple months after they announce a brand new game to start showing us stuff. I would anticipate that we do not hear much more about ZA until May or June at the earliest. From there, we'll get into the summer months, we'll get all the trailers, we'll get a release date around that time. We'll probably get the big blowout of the game in the fall if it's coming out at the start of the year. If it had something to do with the Nintendo Switch delay, whenever Nintendo does announce the Switch 2, I would be willing to bet that we get Pokemon Legends ZA gameplay in that reveal. I think Nintendo, if this is all true and if my speculation is accurate, will want to take ZA and make it a major marketing push to adopt the new console. I think we'll see a much more graphically cohesive, higher frame rate type of Pokemon game on this new hardware, and probably one that runs more similar to Legends Arceus and maybe even Scarlet and Violet if it's played on the Switch we have right now. That would be my guess. We'll see how that comes to fruition. But we got a lot of time to speculate. We're gonna hit on everything on the channel over the next couple months. We're gonna speculate about the starters. We're gonna speculate about the story. We'll speculate about how the gameplay is gonna be different from Pokemon Legends Arceus because that trailer really told me that I think the Legends formula, quote unquote, is not specifically what was in Legends Arceus. I don't think everything is going to fully translate to this next game. I think Legends is the series where they experiment. I would expect the gameplay to be different in this game than it is in Legends Arceus. We've already seen that they're willing to do some different things with this. The game takes place all in Lumio City. Now, we saw the map in the trailer, you've seen it playing in the video. Lumio City looks enormous. It is a much greater uh, portrayal of the city than what was originally in X and Y. And when an X and Y came out, it was one of the biggest cities Pokemon had ever made. So that's exciting. But I think Legends is the franchise where they are going to be willing to experiment with the gameplay a lot more. So I would expect that the gameplay is going to be dramatically different from regular Pokemon games and pretty different from what was in Legends Arceus. Time will tell if that theory comes to be proven true. We will see. What do you guys think? Are you excited about Pokemon Legends ZA? Are you excited that we're returning to the Kalos region? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you're not subscribed, get subscribed, turn that notification bell on because we're gonna be talking about Pokemon Legends ZA in the Kalos region all year. With that being said, I've been Linky and we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.